the harbour process is the process required to produce ammonia and that is by combining nitrogen that is obtained from fractional distillation of liquid air with hydrogen which is obtained from a reaction between coal and steam and as we can see here this reaction has a negative enthalpy change which means that it is exothermic. Now in the industry when we are trying to produce as much ammonia as possible theoretically what we can see here from Le Chatelier's principle is that the way to favor the forward reaction and produce as much ammonia as possible would be to do it at a low temperature because we know that the forward reaction is exothermic so the lower the temperature the more we would favor the forward reaction the second thing that we would try to do is we would maintain high concentrations of our reactants those being nitrogen and hydrogen and we would constantly remove the ammonia that's produced that way we constantly requiring this reaction to favor the forward to produce more ammonia and try and undo that high concentration that we have added and then what we find in reality is the following in reality this reaction needs to take place at a slightly higher temperature normally somewhere between 400 and 500 degrees celsius the reason for that is that this reaction would, would take place very very slowly if we did it at normal room temperature so we prefer to do it at a higher temperature to increase the rate of reaction obviously what that does do is it makes us favor the reverse reaction so a number of changes are required in order to again favor the forward reaction that produces more of our products the first one is that we add a catalyst the catalyst that we would use here is iron oxide and again that would speed up the rate of reaction the second change that we would make here is we would do this reaction at a very high pressure normally somewhere between 200 and 400 atmospheres as we can see because the forward reaction produces fewer molecules only two molecules whereas the reverse reaction produces four molecules a high pressure would favor the forward reaction and again produce more ammonia in this reaction so here we have a nice example of how we use Le Chatelier's principle and rates of reactions in the fertilizer industry we have a theoretical prediction that says this is an exothermic reaction therefore lower temperatures higher concentration of reactants and constantly removing products would be the best way to produce as much product as possible but then what that does not take into account is the rate of reaction which is why we have this difference between theory and reality where in reality it is necessary to have a high temperature so that we have a rate of reaction that occurs fast enough for us to produce enough for this to be economically viable in industry and then that high temperature is compensated for by introducing a catalyst into the system and doing this reaction at a very high pressure that then once again forces us to favor the forward reaction that produces as much ammonia as possible.